Hello everyone, it's been a while since I did a daily run, so I thought I'd do a daily run. How do you feel about that? It's a Maggie daily. It is going to be fun because everyone loves Maggie dailies. Because Maggie has such uh, great starting stats, you know, very high speed, very high damage, great rate of fire, fighting <laughs> uh, mega roth here, ultra roth, super roth. Super roth is everyone's favourite. Uh, brain. I'm just saying that it's very unlikely that anyone's going to be happy to walk into the first room on a Maggie daily and find Super Roth just hanging out, chucking bombs at you, taking all your time. That took us a full 30 odd seconds. And we didn't get anything out of it, so good job. Obviously, we start with Yum Heart, and we are going to Mom's Heart, so. Definitely, Boss Rush is a thing we need to think about. Uh, we can take as many deals with the devil as we want because we're not playing for keeps. We're not looking for those elusive items. They will not count because it's a daily run. I'll do the boss first. I mean, oh God. Double Larry JR with this rate of fire. This is a war of attrition right here. Basically, it's you versus Brownian motion. And whichever one loses. <laughs> Well, if you lose, you end up getting hit by Larry Jr., which honestly is not a big deal. This is not a deal with the devil floor. So being hit on the boss fight when we've got Yum Heart and 4 HP ain't a big deal, but, I mean, we're hardly doing all the world of damage right now. And indeed, there could be something in our item room that would have made this a lot easier. Easy piercing shots, which would have been great. We did get hit, though, so that's okay. Uh, let's take 404. That's um, slightly interesting, I think. It means that on every single room, we have a different trinket effect. But the trinket effect is burned into the room. So if we go back to the same room, we will have the same trinket effect from 404, which is uh, it's not that helpful, I suppose, because once you've used the room, you've used the room. We could come back as Blue Baby if we wanted to. I'm not hugely concerned about our points. I just want to get through this, see how well we do. It's been a while since I even played Isaac, let alone a daily run. I did just have a, a quick refresher course using the Keeper, which I randomed. I think I said that I've copied my save file so that I can do that. When did we get an extra HP? I think you take the only one that is likely to have any effect on you. It does give you a small speed upgrade, which feels nice as Maggie, that's for sure. Ah, this is not the burning basement, so this is actually a much more difficult room than it would otherwise be. Oh, I'm really laggy as well. I have to apologise, my computer used to be able to record an Isaac episode and render a, another episode without this level of lag, but maybe I need to defrag. I don't know who uses Windows anymore. Nobody is the answer. We'll take it. Look up. Fine. The reason I have not gone into the curse room is that I want to beat the boss and get the deal with the devil first. Which is very much Isaac 101, so it doesn't seem like a controversial opinion to me. Our shot speed is slow here, so we must have Lazy Worm or something. There's the boss. Okay, good. We got, uh, we got to the boss in good time. We did pick up Aquarius, which... <clears throat> nope. We picked up Ares, which doesn't really do much for me at all, I think. I mean, it literally does things. It has an effect in the context of the game, but it's not an effect that I'm massively pleased to have received. Good. You only do two. Now, at some point, I believe that... Oh, you got hit by the boss. This is a terrible day. Our damage is so poor. I really hate Maggie as a character. At least we've got a little bit more speed, but... These little... Oh, shit. Well, I got hit twice, so whatever. We might as well use... Great, thanks. We might as well use um, Yum Heart and pretend that we didn't get hit, right? Now, at some point, I believe this creep turns into not slippy, but hurty creep, but I don't know when. I don't know what I have to do to deserve that. Man, this is the longest fight I've ever fought. What is happening? This might as well be Ragman. It's like the new... Um, wow, okay. Now it's now it hurts. What the heck? What happened? It's like the new bosses that were uh, provided to us in Afterbirth 
have just twice as much HP as any boss from beforehand. So I need to learn that I've basically never fought this boss outside of boss rush, outside of boss rush, which is strange because I played the game a lot. Um, so I don't understand its patterns. I don't know why we got more HP. Brilliant. Don't know why we got uh, hurty creep sometimes and slippy creep the rest of the time. Oh fuck it. <laughs> So remember how this game works. Sometimes you have to pay attention. If we get anything, we got HP. So that was zero sum room. So we took damage, so we lose. Do you know what? With all this HP, we should probably play this uh, angel room. This self-sacrifice room. Not necessarily all the way. It would be super good if we could find something like the habit, so that as we damage ourselves on the spikes, we would recharge Yum Heart. Bit me and Maxi. We might as well do it though. We're not going to get anything better out of this floor. There's a half heart as well. And then we should go to the curse room too. Just in case it, it could teleport us to the deal with the devil, which we basically squandered. Um, fine. We're not going to get another charge on our yum heart, so we should just take that half heart and, and go, I suppose. But we'll see what we get out of this. For whatever reason. Three coins. You feel blessed. Now we'll find out in the actual series. I said, you know, do you think you feel blessed means that you're likely or more likely to get um, a deal with the angel? I'm just going to go full tilt on this. Screw it. Ooh. So you leave that room, and then hopefully when you come back, they all explode at once. But I'm not going to come back. So uh, we'll go to the shop. Bit slow. Suddenly decided that this floor scares me to a club's guess we keep it. Could have gone for the spirit heart, decided don't really care. We only have to do one room and we've got um, our HP generation back in action. So we'll take the two of clubs with us. Not really going to look for a secret room or anything like that. We'll just leave and hope that on the next floor, I mean I did squander three spirit hearts which would have been pretty useful to keep, especially on the flooded caves because we have not actually improved ourselves in any really statistically significant manner. The best we've got so far is a speed upgrade. So we'll start regenerating on our HP at this early juncture. I feel like our trinket effect is only doing us harm right now because my tears feel bad. I mean, tears feel bad anyway. That's crying. Uh, I guess tears of laughter shouldn't feel bad. Unless you laugh so much that you can't like breathe anymore. I really hate that. My parents used to tickle me. And, I mean... Tickling is basically a form of torture to anybody who is actually ticklish. I hope you know this. I hope you at home know this. Anybody who's got children or who has uh, a ticklish partner, tickling is effectively a form of torture if you are ticklish. Because although you're laughing, you are really, really not enjoying it. Okay? I want you all to know this. And know that when your partner is or, or child is writhing on the floor, apparently in hysterics, it <laughs> it's psychologically damaging because they are incapable of getting out of this situation. You've, you've trapped them. It's, um, you're exercising a form of dominance over them that you probably do not realise you're exercising. Oh, doing what now? Walking into enemies? Is that the name of this game? We've already had this discussion in previous episodes. This is not indeed walk into enemies and get points. This is shoot the enemies with your tears and get points. It's fine. So yeah, can, can we just stop with the tickling? It ain't funny. It's like, if it wasn't laughter that it caused, people wouldn't do it. It's an involuntary reaction. It's not like you can do anything. I mean, you might say that about a joke. You, you, you hear a joke, you laugh at it because it's funny, but you could still argue that the laughter is an involuntary reaction to the joke. Which is kind of fair, but you miss the point that when you have stopped finding the joke funny, you stop laughing at it. Like you laugh at the joke in a commensurate amount for how funny the joke was. Which is why some jokes that are really, really funny, you're laughing for days. You can't stop laughing, right? At which point, you start to resent the person for having told the joke because you have a fit of the giggles. You can't stop laughing and it's actually kind of torturous for everybody involved. It's like, will this person please stop laughing at this joke? Well, maybe you shouldn't have told such a funny joke, right? We seem to be tiny, so maybe we've got... um. Fine, we'll play it. 
Maybe we... Oh, God. Just the frail. Maybe we've got... I don't know what we've got on this room. Trying to guess the trinket is very difficult because not all trinkets have particularly obvious effects. Some trinkets indeed have effects only on very certain rooms. Like, if we're very lucky, we might... Look how poor our damage is, by the way. If we're very lucky, we might find that we have um, store credit when we go into the shop. But it's not going to change the next time we go back into the shop. So that's probably why it remembers which trinket you had. Because if you didn't have store credit when you went to the shop, if it changed trinket, you could just keep going back into the shop until everything was free. It seems like a great way of scumming up the game. And sort of not in the spirit of the game to have done so. Ooh, that was scary. I, I do not like this. One bit. Our damage is abysmal. We haven't taken a single damage upgrade in the whole of the game. I know it's early days, but this is the Flooded Caves, which is quite hard. And of course, we're fighting the Frail here. The, yeah, the Frail. So, we also have to hit it a lot, which is difficult because you have to keep dodging it. Oh, uh, there goes our Spirit Heart. Oh, there goes our deal with the Devil. Jesus Christ. I'm getting slightly salty because <laughs> I, I can't get out of this loop. That I found myself in. Oh my god. I can't do enough damage to make this fight go any quicker. You know, this... This is such a bad fight. I really hate this character. We've lost so much HP just on this fight. Speed and shot speed. I need damage, bro! So the shop's over here. Jeez. I mean, we could always go back to that room to get our compass effects out. Ah, that was really bad. I feel like I'm giving up, so we have to, you know, turn this around. Get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. Nice and quick in that room. I feel like we sped up for no... Oh, we did. We got speedball, which is actually a speed upgrade. Okay. So we've got a speed upgrade twice. We haven't got a single damage upgrade. And we are Maggie, which means we start off with shit damage in the... Mm. Shit damage in the first place. You can hear me getting salty, because the worse I do, the worse I do. I think the thing about a daily is there's a competitive aspect to it, which it feels like once you make a mistake, you're done. There's no coming back from it. Use the two of clubs before that. Ah, technology. No, it's not good enough. Let's keep going. No, bad. Even worse. Probably should have taken technology. Golden teleporter. Interesting. Let's take it. I teleport. Now, I teleport takes you to the first room that you haven't found yet. Which could be the secret room. Super secret room. The deal with the devil, which is the important one here. Or the error room failing that. So we can get our deals with the devil back, basically, despite our abysmal attempts at actually fighting bosses. Like, our DPS has not improved and it didn't start well. This is the sort of DPS that would make an Eden start bad. Like Maggie's default DPS is bad. And it's supposed to be because you have good defense. But if you don't improve it, you just end up with a train wreck. So we could get some really good deal with the devil sort of shenanigans, shenanigans going on by exploring every room. Finding the secret rooms. And uh, making our way out. That way. Uh, using the eye teleport and then... Ooh, golden bombs will definitely assist in this endeavor. Ha ha ha. We found the super secret room, which is actually really important because that's going to be one of the harder things to find. Uh, and therefore, it's going to be one of the things that's most likely to sort of take over our ability. There's Bob's brain in here for some reason. To get to the deal with the devil, because if you find the... If we don't find the super secret room, we'll go to that instead of the deal with the devil. And we're not guaranteed to get a new, another charge. Because, of course, if we don't wait till we've explored every single room on the floor, um, we just teleport into the next room that we haven't visited. Please, let me out. The fact that we can't, like, get rid of these flies. So we're in this for the long haul, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Uh, where's the secret room going to be, then? I mean, we might as well try everywhere. I would have found it. Give me a bomb. It is there, of all places. Push button. Okie dokie. So now we press this and we get a devil. Yes. My shadow is bad. But mom's knife is 
going to be such a significant damage upgrade that I have to suggest that maybe it's the only option at this stage. Uh, we have enough money to buy a battery charge, and I'm going to because I think there is one. Is which means we can now get to the error room, which is uh, very nice indeed. We get our HP back, or at least one of the two. We actually got a really good deal out of this. I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. We've got balls of steel twice. All right, this was a very, very good battery purchase. We also got the chariot, which is going to super help in the next floor if we get anything cool like uh, an arcade, which is not actually possible because, of course, we have um, only one cent and you need five cents. So it's not going to happen, but that's okay. Uh, that's actually set us up very nicely. So doing that little bit of extra, um, I suppose, min-maxing, just to get the error room out of this situation makes I teleport entirely worth it. Now our shot speed is so poor, our fire rate is so poor that it's taking us a very long time to charge up Mom's knife, which is why I seem to be having trouble hitting anything. It's because I'm basically not expecting look up, look down. I mean <laughs> You go to you come from nothing, you've gone back to nothing. What you lost? Nothing Always look on the bright side of Isaac. So I teleport was a great idea. This situation, however, is not that great unless we get some batteries on the ground. Uh, that was an owl in the middle of ground, which was already in the middle of ground, so it sounded like an Eddie Izzard sketch. Um, or like a random... Why am I pressing this? Question. Because of the spirit heart that's inside it. Um, basically what I'm saying is that we're going to end up teleporting into the boss trap room rather than the deal with the devil. So even if we do get one battery charge, we'll end up in the deal with the devil rather than the error room. Like we're one room behind, basically, because there's a room we can't get into. And that provides that we do find both secret rooms ourselves, which is also unlikely, or at least not horrendously, stupidly likely, because... Oh, okay. <laughs> well, what was I saying? Um... We do need to find both uh, secret rooms ourselves, or we'll end up teleporting into one of those. Okay, then. I'll be honest, this is not going entirely as planned. That was a terrible dodge, I just didn't. It wasn't even a dodge, it was a walk backwards and hope for the best, which is my way of dodging. Nothing in there. Not happy. Might as well take it, who cares. It's a slight speed upgrade, or at least it used to be, and I will continue to believe that it is, even if it isn't. What do I do? <laughs> Help. Literally, what do you do? First of all, you don't screw it up like you did. We have such a good chance of getting a deal with the devil naturally, and I'm pretty sure we're guaranteed one. Uh, mostly because we have not actually seen the door open. And that's the determining factor, is whether you've seen the door open. Please. Bacano, we use... Question marks we use, it's hematomesis, which gets us into the other room actually. Ooh, very interesting. Answers we might keep for the next floor. Bacano we use. Blank rune we use, and it's a Yera. Which means we've got two of everything again. Except for the Yera rune, which we already have. Uh, I'm going to go back to the mob boss trap room. Uh, I'm not going to pick up this HP. We are very slow, no boss rush for us, because we didn't get any value out of this run at all. So, there's that. Well done, us. Boss trap room is open. We have to at least visit it, but it seems like worth doing, so... Ooh, a guppy item. Which we will use once and put down. Very nice to have a guppy item. Uh, guppy with Mom's knife is not a brilliant synergy, unfortunately. We don't get as many flies as we would if we just used tears or something like brimstone. That was a good time to just stand still and point the knife. And then... I mean, we're still not doing a great amount of damage, but the damage upgrade that Mom's Knife gives us basically makes up for how difficult Mom's Knife is to use at this stage. Right, there's one more room, and there's also a secret room, which could actually be here. No, it's not going to be there. Okay. And I would like to pick up the HP, because we hematomised it, or hematomised it away from ourselves. Also, we should go to the uh, item room. I just thought I'd throw that out there. I, uh... Apropos of nothing, etc. Why have I got... I must have pinky eye on this room. Ah, oh, caught it. See, 
This is one of those situations where you have to guess how it's going to go. And I, oh, honestly thought that it was going to shoot at me, so I dodged. This is difficult. Please. How are you not doing enough damage to blow this thing up? I hate mom's knife, <laughs> but it's the only damage we've got. There we go. Oh, I took her side. I think it does nothing. Oh, I didn't realize. And then I walked into it and I was trying to turn around and momentum. Oh, what terrible luck. What rotten luck. Right, good. Very good. So now we're guaranteed to deal with the devil, I think. Because we've never seen a door open before. And unless we take a shitload of damage, which is still likely, versus the stain here. Um. Okay. Very good. Keep a look. Gives us some stuff. We will kill Krampus. That means that we don't have to use a charge on this golden teleporter to get to the deal with the devil, which means we will use it. Two secret rooms. Yes, yeah, so we should uh, at least go back in here and get. Oh, so much HP in here now. Blank rune. Answers. It's answers. And we've got another blank rune, which is Awaz, which doesn't give us a thing. We get Bacano and no more blank runes. We'll take answers for the next floor. We'll use our gold teleports to get to the error rune, which gives us rune bag, which could easily give us another Awaz rune, which I didn't know I was getting. Don't forget that was a blank rune, not an Awaz rune, to allow us to continue one more floor and make up for the fact we didn't get to uh, boss rush on this run. Which was never going to happen. Oh, the spikes there. Very interesting. I, uh, some reason I just didn't see them. <laughs> I was just walking around, minding my own business. Uh, there's a song here, but I can't think of it. <laughs> Never mind. Wow, he jumped into me. I will allow it. Can't get that. Can't get that. I get mildly confused with these um, extra... F it's a lot of bombs, but it might be worth it. I get mildly confused with these extra, these new floors that sort of shake up. You know what, I'm going to come back to this because if we choose to, we can use that charge to get to the error room or some other... We should just use answers now, shouldn't we? Now we know where the two secret rooms are, we can basically get to both the deal with the devil, if we don't get it naturally, and the error room depth one. Why is it always brownie? Why is it literally always brownie? Can't think of a time when I didn't fight brownie. Fuck, there's so many shots on the screen. We had to get close because we couldn't afford to spend the time to charge mom's knife. Which is really annoying. But that's okay. Uh, we didn't get the natural deal with the devil, but we have got even more fucking HP, so there's that. <laughs> okay, we've got wiggle worm on this room, apparently. Which is fun, but not helpful. And at least we can see our secret room, so we can put the bombs down without wasting them. We got Hagalaz. Yes, I will use Hagalaz in this other room. And Algiers will get us... I don't know. Okay, that gets us to that. Algiers does what for us? Maybe a blood bank? This helps a great deal. And we'll take this, and there's another battery charge if we... <laughs> Good job, brother. <laughs> okay. These uh, spikes apparently are just anathema to me. I can't see them, even though I'm fully aware of them. So there'll be more walking on spikes. Part of my uh, repertoire in the Binding of Isaac. Uh, after this is to just step on spikes. My next trick, I will step on spikes. So I'm not going to do that anymore because we have a good amount of XP now. In a good way. That was a terrible bomb placement because I just realised where the secret room is. Why was there only one enemy on that room? We will go into the mob chat room. Super greed. Okay, okay. At least it means that we don't get super greed in the shop. Or in any future secret room. We've got some money. And we get into here for free anyway, although it was free. Because we could get in. Because the gating is based on HP and we have plenty of it. So. 
Still, it's nice to know that had we not been able to, we still could have. And now we just do the rest of them. Just leave. That's fine too. Oh my god. I just need any sort of upgrade that helps. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Fuck it, I'm in maxing the shit out of this now because we're never going to get to boss rush. We might as well get the best out of the items that we do have. Sure. But bombs. Now we've got more bombs. And they are pretty good bombs, but I wouldn't really want to use them for too much. I don't want to rely on them. Because, I mean, they'll damage the whole room. But... Oh, God. <laughs> Mom's knife is just very difficult to deal with at the best of times. Especially when you haven't got a huge amount of practice with it. But this is not the best of times. This is a time when it is also extremely difficult to actually charge up to a sufficient amount that it is useful. So we can teleport out of the cursed room into the deal with the devil. Which will bring us back into the cursed room. Shit. Well, hopefully there's a... I mean, it'll cost us to get out, basically. We're not gonna... I'm not gonna win anything for... Teleporting out of this room to the deal with the devil. I guess you take contract from below and try and get the points. But you don't take Book of Belial because you need to teleport her. Ooh, hello. I'm gonna shoot this because it will shoot me. Okay, that paid for the room at least, so there's that. Let me go back to this one with a battery in it. Post haste. And... We teleport to the error rooms, which has actually been a very lucrative source of items for us so far. We've done pretty well. We've got rune bag and something else that was cool. I forget. Blank card, apparently. Uh, blank card algae's maybe. But I kind of like in the... Because we now have the ability to find both secret rooms. And... Um, often the ability to get into most other special rooms. A bomb. Thank you. Hagalaz. Might help again. So I'm going to get out of here for free. Save some HP on the way out of here. Because we can basically explore most of the rooms that the golden teleporter would normally help us find. We're pretty much guaranteed to get those error rooms. So I'm going to stick with the golden teleporter. I would very much like any sort of stat upgrade. You know, finding Mom's Knife was more by luck than judgement because Mom's Knife showed up in the deal with the devil we got for gambling on iTeleport instead of Yumheart, which has turned out to be fine because who needs Yumheart, right? You probably would take it anyway. Anything to replace Yumheart is pretty much good advice in the Binding of Isaac. Unless you are massively going full on now. Okay, that's a bad idea as well, so we're learning. Still learning. Always learning. No one ever becomes an expert at the Binding of Isaac. It is not possible. Always a mistake to be made. There's a rune in there. Very well. I mean, we could start just randomly hitting the teleporter. We could use it to cancel runes or get out of them. Honestly, if you're going to use the teleporter to get out of the curse room, you should do it when you're guaranteed to end up in a room. That does not put you back in the curse room when you leave it. I do want Hagalaz. Nothing else, it can get us a, a better card. But, I mean, on previous floors, Hagalaz has managed to get us to uh, a battery charge, which has been very useful. I don't really fancy um, playing with these jokers too much. Take those. Obviously, exploring every room with a floor is something we were going to do anyway on... Um, on a daily run, but I suppose, oh yeah, let's let's assume that there's at least four charges worth of rooms left. See if we get that's really bad damage for saying this is Mom's knife that we're using here. See if we get the uh, deal with the devil here. If we get the deal with the devil at this stage, we don't need to worry about it being one of the rooms that we end up teleporting to with the golden teleporter. If we don't get a deal, oh. I actually thought I was out of the way there, so that was my mistake. If we don't get a deal with the devil at this point, then we're going to need to find a battery charge to make up for the... Wow. Make up for the fact. Uh, which we didn't, because we're bad. But 
teleport. You teleport anyway. End up in a new room. And hopefully we get... Oh, you went in a different direction. Which is why I'm leaving the band. Algiers. I guess we haggleize this room. This seems like a good idea. Might as well Algiers for now. Ultra Prime. Very well. You want the left hand? I think no. We do have one guppy item, so it could be worth taking, but... Kind of who cares? Double key room. I would probably re-roll this run in a heartbeat. Because it's shit. Ooh. There's our battery charge, so now we can basically do what we want. One more teleport when we found all the other rooms will get us to deal with the devil. Provided we've been to them all. Provided we can get into them all is what I mean. And then one after that is the error room. <laughs> so many spacebar items and yet I'm not prepared to use them. I do want to... I don't really care about the three room now, think about it. I don't want to re-roll that battery charge and find that we don't have it anymore when we need it. to go to the shop as well. We have plenty of keys and indeed money, so it might actually be worth buying something because we haven't got much good out of the actual run so far. We'll buy this. We'll buy this. There is a battery charge as well. The Kano we use. Even more consumables. We should be doing alright on points just from consumables. There's another Hagalans there, which I don't really care for now because we have what we need. Okay. Uh, use this. Devil is shit. Don't get. I might just pay for the battery charge because it's closer. Saves walking all that way back. Error and Cricket's body. It's at least a tears upgrade, so we will charge faster. There's a luck upgrade in this chest. Plenty of money and consumables, which I will collect. I wouldn't mind any stats upgrade at all <laughs> from the entire game at any point. We've had a couple of. We've had. Two speeds upgrade, which have speed upgrades, which have not really made that much of a difference because we start off very slow, so we need way more t uh, speed upgrades to make anything particularly worthwhile as money. Take balls of steel immediately because we have the space for them. Full health is also fine. Hematomesis really doesn't help us anymore, although we can use it on the super secret room. If the super secret room contains. Uh, Literally any form of hearts, but I think I'm going to prefer if it's um, black or spirit hearts. Mostly black hearts, because you can take those almost all the time. And they will be effective for you. So, I mean, all that we've got so far is that our thing charges slightly faster. Our, our knife charges slightly faster. If Loki was standing the fuck still, that would be easier too. It's not, <laughs> not making it easier. Rain's down. Well, we might as well uh, go through here. The thing about this floor is that it's so big. That was really bad. But you don't really want to explore everything. <laughs> you don't want to explore the whole floor. Oh, wow. That actually went quite a lot further than I expected it to. I, I am trying to melee with mom's knife because our range downgrade effectively compensated for our tears upgrade that we got before. Don't ask me how I dodged that. You know, it seems like one of those pro dodges that you just talk to the experts about and say, how do you do dodges like that? And they say, you know, you just got to give 110%, you know, go out there, you do your best. 110%. Um, but honestly, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I just moved in a direction that I thought would be a good idea. And at the time, there happened to be a shot that I would have been hit by had I not. What the fuck am I supposed to do about this shit? I haven't even got the range to beat them. All the damage. It's bullshit. I hate this. Where are you? Couldn't uh, dodge that. I got stuck in the corner. Okay. Friends till the end. Well. That's fine. We could use those, but we could also not use those to a similar amount of effect because they're so far away. They're basically the edge of the map when we come to need them. Which is not much help, I'm afraid. The Kano, yes, we will use it. I mean, this run is shit. And I hate it. But we're still going. 
And I think that's really all we've got, we've got to say for ourselves. We've yet to find an AOR's rune um, from Rune Bag, which has been paying out reasonably often, as you would expect, but not really with what we need. It's been mostly Hagalars and Alges. Okay. Don't just shoot blindly into a room. There's an AOR's rune, okay. So we could maybe use Hematomesis to get some decent stuff out of this super secret room, but knowing my luck, if I take a Hematomesis pill all the way down there on that premise, it will turn out to be uh, a flooded room with a poop in it. So, you know, you pick your battles. We'll do all these rooms so that we don't have to, you know, worry about Golden Teleporter bringing them to us. I'm still trying to get as much as I can out of Golden Teleporter because we have to, really. It's basically the only thing we've got that could give us any decent items. And the items that we've had so far have just been entirely spacebar items. We've just been replacing... Well, we've had the option to replace one active item with another. Which doesn't help us at all because we're using the golden teleporter to try and get anything out of this. Obviously, the golden teleporter does give us the deal with the devil. Basically guaranteed. I'm still meleeing with this knife because I can't hit anything with it. It takes so long to charge up to get a decent range out of it. There's no um, no indication of it. I think that's one of the more difficult things about this item. Which I assume is intentional. Interesting. Let's see if we can Yara something. That's going to be my goal. Yara what? I don't know. Get a spirit heart. Blank Card Jero would have been great, by the way. We could we could definitely have had Blank Card Jero right now. I'm aware. Ah, told you. So, if we could find anything worth Yero-ing, then we will Yero it. But I'm definitely going to keep hold of the Awas rune, because that's going to be the most useful thing for us. Because we want to get down to Sheol uh, after the Mom's Heart fight, which is in the next floor. So if we don't Yero anything now, you know, we don't Yero anything now. There's a small chance we get another AWAS room, but why risk it? We want to get that extra floor done, get those extra points, try and make up for the bad play. Which I, I'm inclined to blame somewhat on the game not really giving me what we need to make a Maggie run work. I think we take Judas's shadow. See what's in here. Yara this. That's 4 HP. What's this? Ah. Hematomesis. Don't need that. Uh, so, we Yara that. We're going to have to kill ourselves twice, but we'll go back and get the Awas rune, which we left back here. When we find the Yara rune. Glowy. Very nice. We stand on these spikes on purpose this time. Do you know what? I'm wondering if there's something special about this room. I don't think there is. Because the first one's going to bring us back as Blue Baby. Which is fine. If you kill yourself on this room, do you get some cool shit? No. But at least, I don't know if we gain any stats for that. So now we do this again. Oh, jeez. Don't walk into the hole, by the way, because we want to get both the deal with the devil. Did we get the de Yeah, no. We did not. Yes, we did. That's why we are Dark Judas. So now we go to the error room, which gives us an actual stats upgrade, and we leave. Very good. So now we're Dark Judas, which is a huge damage upgrade, which is why I wanted to go through that, even though it cost us a lot in terms of HP. Then we get a min-max like this one more time. We've got our Awas rune, so I didn't screw that up for once. We've got our golden teleporter already, already ready. We don't really need the trickle charge, but... It could actually turn out to be helpful, because we could find that we end up in a situation where we've got, like, one charge missing. Or when we need to get three charges, and now we only need to get two. Uh, it could help. And I'm getting a little bit bored of 404. I honestly don't know what it's doing half the time. So our damage should be pretty much sorted by now. Uh, apart from the fact I'm walking into shit. And we're only on... Man, that voice. Ugh. Very, very creepy. 
Uh, we're only running on spirit hearts. We can't afford to take that sort of damage, unfortunately. So if you could not, that would be splend... Jesus Christ. Sucking me in. There's an arcade here. These keep going, so don't forget that. It might give us something. Why don't we just use our money to see if we can get some good out of this? Uh, we couldn't. Range down does not help me. I think so. Um, spirit hearts. Question marks. Do I dare take a question mark pill? I found. It was okay, but probably risky because it could have been a bad trip pill, which would have been kind of bad for us on our current HP. So maybe don't take such risks when so much is at stake, but at the same time, take risks. Oh, I'd like a teleport. Where's my AWAS room? We might as well use the Algis room. Ah. Very much worth it. We can now look at the speed of that compared to how much damage we were doing before. Very glad that I became Dark Judas. And of course, we can still take HP, so having gone through the blue baby phase of this uh, kill yourself nonsense. Answers. There's a curse room that we can get to. Which we probably should have saved the um, Algis room for now, think about it. But we've got enough battery charges to maybe get into the curse room and the error room, which hopefully will be the last time we need to min-max like this. We could just power through Sheol. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't think you can get past Sheol even with an error room. Ow. See, I'm trying to I'm trying to do this sensibly by not giving myself the chance to miss. But all that's happening is I'm giving the enemies the chance to hit me instead, which doesn't help. So this is going to be too expensive to get into um, in, in this regard. So what we should do is we should walk into it. No, we can't. We need to teleport into the... We teleport into it and walk out of it. That's how this works. I wonder if it has to be a room you've beaten or if it's just a room you've seen. Yera. Yera. Okay. Now we have two AWAS rooms, so okay. Guess that's nice. Um, it's not that nice. I really need a tinted rock. If you'd like to give me one, that'd be splendid. Take like that. Any tinted rocks? Anybody? No. Probably not. I'm just going to put a bomb here and see if either of these I recognise, because I don't... It was a tinted rock. Uh, quite interestingly. Speed up and arrange down. Help. The speed up is actually nice. It <laughs> helps the fact that we started off as Maggie and have had shit speed for the entire run so far. We've got... Oh, we've actually got a golden key, so it doesn't matter if we open that. I was lucky that thing turned around. I held my breath. That's why I stopped talking. What am I carrying on my back? Oh. Don't do that. Walking around with something. There it is. It's a little smiley face. I wonder what it is. Another AWAS room. Oh, brilliant. Now we've got three. This would be a good time to be actually careful. And not do a silly thing like get her on a neutral flat. Very good. Um, yes, so we do this. Hopefully win. It would be very foolish not to win at this stage. You know what? We don't need the AWAS room because we can use a golden teleport to the same effect. Please. I didn't think of that. So we could have taken the Yara room. But then there's not much point yarrating anything down here anyway, so I guess who cares? Wow, that thing managed to shoot me, which is just bullshit. Like, frankly. Uh Well, here goes. Oh very good. Well done. Kill this. Spirit heart please. Not a spirit heart. Can't help but notice. Now we get our battery charge. And we go into... Uh, we do need the AWAS room, actually. We might not be able to get to the error room. That's not where I want to be. This is where I want to be. Beverly Hills. Let's see if there's anything good in here. Blow you up. 
Still not what we need. Hmm. Like, we've got one HP. <laughs> uh, great. With which to beat Shoal. There's got to be some spirit uh, tint drops in here, right? Keep an eye out. Don't know. Oh, what a palaver. Got hit a couple of times that I'm not happy with, but I took Mom's knife for the damage, and now I'm regretting it because we have Dark Judas for the damage. Dark Judas? Could be a spirit high in here. It's petrified poop. Oh, okay. Um, now we have Dark Judas for the damage. He was. Like, we don't need Mom's knife, and Mom's knife is causing me a lot of issues because I can't hit anything. Because I'm bad with it. So we're going to die here, no doubt. Especially with these motherfuckers. Up in my grill. Are you not dead? Are you not dead? Anytime you want to just randomly drop a spirit heart, that would be splendid. Not spirit hearts, can't help but notice. Secret rooms are over there. Please. I hate this because they can spawn in such a way that there's no way you can stand or you'll walk into them. It always happens. The Kano will help a great deal because it will cause things to die. Yes, got it. Right, we have two HP now, so we're not dead yet. Plus, when we get hit like that, because I thought he was going to die, um, we have some invincibility to keep us going. We wasted it, but... <laughs> I don't... I'm not proud. Ooh. Here's our spirit heart. Fuck! He changed direction! This always happens with Larry Jr. I fucking hate it. Alright, 237th for that abysmal of a display. I don't deserve that level. What's going on here? 270th in time, 237th in score? That must have been a difficult run for everybody, but... Honestly, I feel like I played like shit, and I can only apologise for how long we have spent on this episode. And just the walking around damage. I'm just... Ah, oh, I've lost the knack. So I'm going to keep practicing and I hope you'll join me in the main series where we're looking for the last two items. Also very, very long drawn out and frustrating, but nevertheless we get to play Isaac every day. So do come back whenever I do this again, blah, 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 blah. Stop waffling on. I'll see you next time.